Now again, we need to understand what is the relationship between radius of curvature and focal length of a spherical mirror. So the spherical mirror again can be a concave mirror or a convex mirror. Okay. Let's call this as M, M dash, M, M dash. Now what we saw earlier was that in case of a concave mirror, the focal length lies somewhere here, okay, and the radius of curvature is something like this okay similarly in the case of the convex mirror these two points are reflected something like this right you have the pole here then you have various rays which are coming So this is the focus point okay similarly in the case of a convex mirror again this was your point P okay the ray come the rays goes back then you had various other rays which were coming in okay and these were diverging back only to meet here. Now when the aperture, now what is the aperture? Aperture is basically the distance or the size between M and M dash is not too large. Then if you draw all these diagrams above, you will notice that the focal length is normally half of the radius of curvature or f is equal to r upon 2 where r is basically your radius of curvature and f is the focal length so let's say if the focal length is equal to 10 centimeter okay then the radius of curvature is equal to 20 centimeter so 10 into 2 or let's say the radius of curvature is 40 centimeter then the focal length is equal to 40 upon 2 or 20 centimeter so the distance of the focus from the pole is half that of the radius of curvature this is r this is f Okay?